So today's video is on um, how I went from being a brunette to being blonde. Of course, it did take some time. It doesn't happen overnight. And if it does happen overnight, then your hair will probably be pretty damaged. So you, you can expect to have drastic results overnight um, without damaging your hair. But I will show you how you can do it relatively fast and keep your hair healthy because no one wants to chop all their hair off. Let's get to it. So first off, um, let me do a little storytelling about my previous hair color. So I'm a natural brunette, but for I don't know how many years I was constantly dyeing it black or really dark brown. I was doing this with box dye, which is so bad for your hair, but it was cheap and I was constantly dyeing it, so I didn't really want to spend money. Bad mistake because that changed a lot of my hair. Um, it actually damaged it quite a bit and caused it to be like really patchy without me notice noticing because I would just slap on color and then be like, I'm done. Um, so for some people, they're totally fine with that. Go for it if you like it, but my hairstylist would kill me if I ever used box dye. But what she did for me was she did so many foils all around and around after Christmas time, I was like a really light brunette. I had super nice golden um, highlights around. It kind of looked like JoJo's hair from The Bachelorette. Bachelorette fans, thumbs up this video if you are a Bachelorette fan or The Bachelor fan. I don't care. I love it so much. If you're not into it, then we can agree to disagree. Okay, moving on. So I had hair like that. I wasn't too happy, to be honest, because I wanted it to be blonde. And I said that I wanted like this color. I was like, why can't you do it for me? right away and I was kind of being unrealistic because I didn't realize how like unpros like my hair was just like really had different colors everywhere so when she would bleach it it would develop differently. Some spots would lighten faster, some would just kind of stay grassy orange and it was not fun. So it took some time, some patience, but we finally got to this color. It's kind of like a silvery um blonde and different lights. It looks different colors but I will tell you how I maintain this and take really good care of it because I honestly feel like my hair is so much healthier now um, than when I was a brunette because when I was a brunette I just kind of like whatever I don't need to take care of it as much because I just didn't um, whereas now I know that I do chemical you know, upkeeps on it so I'm bleaching it every now and then uh, to keep it the color that it is so I take better care of it so what I use is Karina Organics um, Citrus Shampoo and Conditioner, both and the deep conditioning ones because it is for dry or chemically treated hair. Cannot live without these. I will never use another shampoo or conditioner because I stopped using it for a little while and my hair felt so crusty almost, but like my hair is so smooth because of it. I would highly recommend these. They ship them worldwide. Amazing. Next, I use the Olaplex number no. three. When I go to the salon, she uses the number one and number two treatment, I think, and that's the one she leaves in it for 15 minutes. Last time we left it in for 30 just because, why not? And it feels so good. So she usually does, um, foils, really thin ones, and then here she just kind of like bleach. And then I like my back darker, so she just does memory card was full. I don't remember where it was. So with Olaplex, you leave it in for, it says to leave it in for 10 minutes, but I kind of leave it in for a really, really long time. Sometimes I'll even get out of the shower and just have it in my hair with the towel over it and then just sit and watch TV. That is the best way to do it. Even if you don't have Olaplex, if you have oil or just like a leave-in conditioner, leave that in for a bit and then go back into the shower and wash it out because it allows your hair to really um, soak in the oils. So 
do that if you don't have Olaplex. It works probably just as good. It is kind of pricey, but yeah, like so far my hair is doing really well, so I don't think I need it right now. The product that allows it to be this silvery is this guy. Can you even see that? Focus. The Milkshake Silver Shampoo. This is specific shampoo for gray or blonde hair. Really good. It's so purple. It's like blue. You can see it. So I like to leave this in for a really long time. It says to only leave it for like a minute or so, but I kind of just like lather my hair in it, leave it in, kind of like wash my body, and then rinse it out. I get like a little bit of like a purpley pink tint to it, which I like. So if you're looking to just kind of take away brassiness, don't leave it in for as long. Another thing I absolutely love, I talked about this in one of my old videos, is Kerastase. This one is their elixir um, hair oil and it is so amazing it smells really good and I like the thicker oils because it tends to last a lot longer I was using Moroccan oil for a really long time just because I love the smell of it it was one of the first ever hair oils that I really got into but they are kind of watery so I don't feel like they last as long whereas this one I feel like it will last me forever like I bought a bottle and I just had it for the longest time so this is really good something I had to tell you to take from this is buy a good purple shampoo and hair oil um, because you want to make sure that you're feeding your hair nutrients and kind of like letting it oil up all, um, all the time so that's really um what else Hmm, I feel like I'm gonna have so many things to, to say once I'm editing this video. Oh yeah, but do not use too many heat products on your hair. Um, or So like, don't use a straightener, don't use a curler all the time, and definitely do not blow dry your hair. It damages it like crazy. I. Like today was the first day I blow dried my hair and it felt very weird to do it because I feel like it doesn't make your hair feel as nice. Not only that, it just heat obviously damages your hair. So what I like to do is I will style my hair in braids or just like keep it up in a really high pony or like um, sleep with it braided and then it gets really nice and curly or sleep with it with a bun and then it's more soft curls. Today I did it because I'll probably do it once every couple of weeks. Um, I'll curl my hair and it will last me until I wash it, which is usually like the next day, which is kind of a bummer. But it's definitely the biggest difference is not heating your hair all the time. So if you have really bad hair and so you feel like you need to do it, just stop. Learn to braid your hair, learn to like tie it in really cute ways because the more you dry your hair, the worse it'll get. It'll just get crunchy and you'll have to probably chop it off. Other thing, make sure you get your hair cut frequently because we're just gonna let the split ends just keep riding up. It's growing so fast, like really fast. So make sure you get your hair cut, do treatments, and do not use heat. going to a hair salon, do your homework, see what colors you like, know your hair, um, and understand that if you already have damaged hair, it might take a little bit longer. If you currently use box dyes, it's going to take a little bit longer. If you don't want to lose your hair, make sure you're taking really good care of it so that you don't have to do as many um, sessions. I think in total, this really only took about three sessions. Um, there's some creepy guy looking at me. This is very awkward. Oh my god. This is so awkward. It's so awkward. <laughs> okay. Well, moving on. Um, so yeah, just... I told her that I wanted to be blonde. I knew that I didn't want to be warm blonde. I wanted to be ashy, more cool tones. So more blues, more grays, silvers, purples, that kind of stuff. Like the golden. Um, tones too much. Uh, but, yeah. This is very awkward. Basically, 
she just took every single layer, weaved it through, and painted it. And then she obviously put more product and more bleach at the top, and then not as much on the bottom because I like it darker. I hope that helps. I hope that you had to get an understanding of what it takes to go from dark to light hair because it is a huge process. It's not super easy and if it is, again, you're going to probably lose a lot of hair and nobody wants that. Um, there were some days where I did definitely get upset and wish that the process went by a lot faster, but I'm happy with it now. and. It is an investment, it does cost money, and if you're kind of wanting to cut to cost, then you do have to compromise the integrity of your hair. So lots of oil on your hair, you could probably get away with it, because I know some people that do that. My stylist may be watching this video, so she'd kill me if I said that, but I mean, you could get away with it, depending on the current state of your hair. So if you haven't done anything to your hair too much, then you're good to go. If you already have light brown, you're good to go. But if you do have dark hair and you've box dyed it a lot, mm, I'd go see a professional. So that is all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And yeah, I will have some more videos. If you have any questions on hair treatments or actually want to watch me do some hair treatments, let me know. Let me know because I can definitely upload those. Hope you guys are having a beautiful day, and if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up because that would be amazing. And yeah, subscribe. It's that red button right there. Right there. Right there.